Welcome to Computer Systems Servicing. You are now in the learning out of 3 of Lesson 5 which is use appropriate hand tools and test equipment. All tools and equipment must be properly maintained so that workers are not in danger. Relations requires inspection of tools, materials, and equipment before use. Do you know the advantages of maintaining tools and equipment? Correct! Number one, well organized. Number two, pack purpose. And number three, defines operational procedures. But before we proceed to our next lesson, let us review first hand tools. Let's try! You use to drive bolts and screws with hexagonal sockets in their heads. Your timer starts now. three parts that may be hard to reach by your fingers. Equalize the electrical charge between you and the equipment. Use to tighten or loosen screws that have a straight, linear notch in their heads. Use with a type of screw that has a slot in its top that looks like a cross. Technician needs to be able to properly use each tool in the toolkit. Screws Match is a screw with a proper screwdriver. Turn the screwdriver clockwise to tighten the screw and counterclockwise to loosen the screw. Flathead screwdriver Use a flathead screwdriver when you are working with a slatted screw. Do not use a flathead screwdriver to remove a Phillips head screw. Caution! Phillips head screwdriver. Use a Phillips head screwdriver with cross head screws. Do not use this screwdriver to puncture anything. This will damage the head of the screwdriver. Hex driver. Use a X-driver to loosen and tighten bolts that have a hexagonal or six-sided head. Caution! Part Retriever, needle nose pliers or tweezers. This can be used to place and retrieve parts that may be hard to reach with your fingers. Caution! Anti-static loose strap. The purpose of this is to equalize the electrical charge between you and the equipment. The wrist strap has two parts that it's easy to wear. First, you wrap the strap around the wrist and secure it using the snap. Second, snap the connector at the end of the wire to the wrist strap and connect the other end either to the equipment or to the same grounding point. Anti-static mat is slightly conductive. It works by drawing static electricity away from the component 
and transferring it safely from equipment to a ground team point. Keeping computers clean inside and out is a vital part of a maintenance program. Dirt can cause problems with the physical operation of fans, buttons, and other mechanical components. Caution! Computer cases and monitors. Clean computer cases and the outside of monitors with a mild cleaning solution on a damp, lint-free cloth. LCD screens. Do not use ammoniated glass cleaners or any other solution on an LCD screen unless the cleaner is specifically designed for the purpose. Harsh chemicals will damage the coating on the screen. There is no glass protecting the screen, so be gentle when cleaning them and do not press firmly on the screen. CRT screens. Clean the screens of CRT monitors Dampen a soft, clean, lint free cloth with distilled water and wipe the screen from top to bottom. Component Contacts Clean the contacts on components with isopropyl alcohol. Do not use rubbing alcohol. Keyboard Clean a desktop keyboard with a compressed air or a small handheld vacuum cleaner with a brush attachment. Mouse Use glass cleaner or a soft cloth to clean the outside of the mouse. Alright, so now let's check what have you learned. Congratulations, you are now ready for our next lesson. See you!